Welcome back to the dog cave. Here we are, hit out, enjoying all sorts of good things. And today we're going to examine Bloom's taxonomy very, very, very briefly. Uh, this presentation is brought to you by the dog. I love Bloom's taxonomy. Now, back in 1956, Benjamin Bloom and a group of eggheads met together and they determined that there were at least three ways of learning, and they identified these as domains. For instance, the cognitive domain, which is about the brain, the affective domain, which is about the value system, and the psychomotor domain, which is about movement or kinesthetic uh, learning. Now, what we're going to look at very briefly is that of the cognitive domain. Now, isn't this a beautiful little pyramid here? I just love the color scheme. And what it implies for us for the cognitive domain is that there are ways of, of learning within the cognitive domain which build upon each other. Uh, the, the idea here is that it moves from the simplest to the most complex way of knowing something. Uh, we start with knowledge. We move to comprehension. Knowledge is just simply being able to regurgitate it or or state of fact, comprehension means we, we actually comprehend what we're saying. Apply, application means we can apply it. Analysis means we can tear it apart, analyze it. Synthesis means that after we tear it apart, we can put it back together. And then the most important stage, the highest stage, is that of evaluation. Now, let me share with you some verbs, because this is where the rubber really hits the road in writing student outcomes. Your goal should be, as you deal with, with more advanced learners, is to move them through this scale from knowledge to evaluation. You've probably noticed in class that I've had you do some things where I told you to construct or create or design something and didn't give you much uh, input as to how to do that. Well, I wanted you to move up through Bloom's taxonomy and rise to a higher level. Some of the verbs that are interesting are for knowledge, you might say define, duplicate, list, memorize, recall, repeat, reproduce, or state. For instance, a student will recall a list of uh, the attributes of the albino Hungarian banded aardvark. Comprehension means to classify, describe, discuss, explain, identify, locate, and you can read those rest of those verbs. Application means to choose, to demonstrate, dramatize, employ, illustrate, interpret. In other words, not only do you know, you comprehend, and you can apply. Now, the last three of these, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, are generally deemed to be what we call critical thinking. To analyze means to tear it apart. Can you appraise it, compare it, contrast it, criticize it? Boy, my mama is really good at analysis. Oh, I'm sorry for the sidetrack. Differentiate, discriminate, distinguish, examine. Synthesize means to put it back together. Can you appraise it? Can you argue it? Can you defend it? Judge it? Oh, mom's still good. Oh, excuse me. Select, support, value. The ultimate goal is that you can evaluate it. You can assemble, construct, create, design, develop, formulate, or write. These verbs are very, very important for you as you write student uh, learning outcomes. For instance, there is a difference between the student will recall a list of attributes of the albino Hungarian banded aardvark to where to, to saying, well, the student will design a habitat for the albino Hungarian banded aardvark, much higher level of knowing. Now, you're probably asking yourself at this point, uh, well, he's going to make us uh, write student learning outcomes. How are we going to do this? Well, if you're interested in knowing the answer to how you're going to do this, stay tuned. Answer, my friend, this the answer is blowing in the wind. Oh my God, is that an albino Hungarian banded aardvark? I think it is. This enlightening vi video has been brought to you by the dog. My email is rusty underscore waller at tamu-commerce.edu.